Hey, and welcome to Leadership Dolce. We are live where I am serving up my sweet morsels of wisdom every Monday night right here in Newborn Evolution on my Facebook page. So uh, give me one second. I am just setting up here. Um, okay, so, hi, um, I'm Joanne Newborn, Certified Lifestyle and Leadership Coach with Newborn Evolution, and as always, I just tell you a little bit about why I am qualified to stand here and talk about leadership. So um, I am a director with a very large publicly traded company. Uh, I have my MBA from Penn State University. I'm a certified lifestyle and leadership coach, and I have a real passion for leadership. And I found um, in life and throughout my career that um, there's been a lack of leadership training. Now, there's a lot of leadership training that goes on now because people are realizing how important it is um, for life and um, especially for business. But I like to teach it in a little bit of a different way. I have a modality that I call my East-West Fusion Technique where um, I teach business strategy and I teach about um, Jungian theory, which is Carl Jung psychology theory. And I also teach um, about Eastern philosophy. And I think, uh, just grab my water. I think the combination um, of both, I say business meets woo woo, um, is really a good combination. So um, yeah, so I always felt like the, way, the best way for me to really help professionals who are stressed out and frustrated and unfulfilled um, is to teach about a leadership culture. It's something that we should really embody. And um, the best way that you can use a leadership culture that you're learning is really to attain your dream job with ideal salary and a guilt-free, luxurious work-life balance. So away we go. Um, so speaking of all of this, um, I actually wanted to talk to you tonight about um, the fact that states are opening up again. Hooray, right? Yes. Um, and then that goes hand in hand with businesses opening up again, right? So right now, the job market is absolutely ripe because I'm going to tell you why and what, and what I'm going to say might you might not be aware of it so um, there were many people that were obviously furloughed over this time over the past few months um, but a lot of those people are really hesitant to return to work and why is that because people are actually some people are actually making more money on unemployment right now than we were working. And that's because there was a $600 um, a week bonus bump that the government was giving. So while people are hesitant to go back to work, this is only a temporary bump in pay. And as of July 31st, 2020, right? So a little more than a month from now, that benefit is going away and it will not exist. So what do you have right now for the next like little more than a month? You have a period of time that is ripe to be able to go out there and get your dream job. Take advantage of this fantastic opportunity to shine and land your dream job. So first of all, I would encourage you um, to prepare yourself with my free guide and video. Book those interviews, Six Secrets to Stand Out from Other Job Seekers. And I have the link um, in the post, so you can just download that. And, and it, you can share it too with anybody who might need it. It's chock full of juicy, juicy information. And um, tonight, I really wanted to share with you some of my top interview skills. And some of them may seem like no brainers, um, but you would be shocked, absolutely shocked to know how many people are not doing these things. 
So, um, yeah, so over the course of my career, I have interviewed many, many candidates for open roles on various teams that I've managed. And I've noticed these patterns that are arising that are extremely detrimental to candidates. So I wanted to just give you all these simple reminders. And I also wanted to tell you about a very important mindset technique um, that interviewees should really be using to put themselves miles ahead of their competitors um, so you can land that job. Okay, so here we go. Number one, dress the part. I know, it sounds like a no-brainer. I know it seems obvious, but I cannot tell you how many candidates come into an interview for a managerial role in... Um, business casual outfits, right? I implore you, please wear the suit, wear the dress, wear the professional shoes. You know, I used to have a manager that would say to me, dress for the part that you want, not the job that you have. Dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. And that has always been fantastic advice for me. So I want you to make sure that you are going to wow them. And I mean anyone that you are going to come in contact with in the company with your first impression, because that is the one that the interviewer is going to remember. You can never take away that first impression that you made. So please dress to impress. Even if it's a virtual interview, you know, dress the part from the waist up, like here, like I am right now. Dress the part, no matter how the interview is taking place. And you know, I've even had someone say to me um, while they were interviewing that um, when they had a phone interview, they actually dressed up for the phone interview because they felt differently. They felt professional when they were dressed, even though the person couldn't even see them. They said, if I was there in my sweatpants, my energy wasn't going to be the same. So please dress the part, no matter how the interview is taking place. Okay, number two, please arrive prepared, whether it's virtual or whether it's in person. Have copies of your resume with you or have a copy of your resume that you can easily email if it's a virtual interview. Because I know we're living in the world of technology and a lot of people just assume, well, they have my, my resume, I don't have to bring it or have it available, they have it. Well, <clears throat> if you're assuming that I, as the interviewer, have all your stuff ready, um, those are gonna be big assumptions because what's going to happen is is that i am going to have to waste precious time looking for your resume on my computer and if i only have an hour scheduled to interview you let me ask you do you really want me to spend 10 minutes of your precious hour where you can shine and really sell yourself looking for your resume do you really want me spending precious time looking around for your resume no so just be prepared Bring it, have it ready to email if it's a virtual interview. Um, you know, I'm seeking a candidate who's going to be two steps ahead of me, not one step behind me. So just avoid mishaps and be prepared. Okay, number three, be enthusiastic. I know this sounds like another no-brainer, um, but I will tell you that I have seen so many candidates come in for interviews and act like they're doing me a favor. Now, confidence is very important, but arrogance is a turnoff. And I'm looking for someone to work on my team and someone who's going to be passionate about the company. And so that being said, also a little nervous energy is good. A little nervous energy is great because you know what? It shows me that the interview is important to you. So don't worry about a little bit of having a little bit of nerves. Okay, number four. This is really one of the most important ones. So really pay attention to this. Number four, bring 
your success stories. So prepare your best success stories, your big wins, how you overcame a business challenge from your past companies. And you can even include great success stories from when you were getting your bachelor's degree or maybe when you were getting your MBA or maybe you're on your condo board right now or you're, um, you know, head of a volunteer group. I, I want to see how you define success and how you are going to bring that kind of success to my team, right? So just don't have one or two or three success stories. I want you to have 10 success stories, 10 of them that you could easily pull out and you can fit into any question that you, they're going to be asking you. And so I've done this throughout my own career. And it's really the one thing that has leapfrogged me ahead of my competition. It goes the extra mile. It shows you put the time and energy into your own career growth. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put another link in the post um, to my coaching program, which is called Blueprint to Your Dream Job, because this is my signature program to get you ready to land your dream job. And we will work from resume writing um, to LinkedIn profile to creating the vision that you have to land your dream job. And then we'll work on preparing you to be ready, right? Preparing you with success stories, preparing you in case you have any gaps in your resume. Like if people are, you know, laid off right now or if there was ever another time in your career where you may have been laid off there are gaps people take off to take care of their kids all kinds of things will prep you so that you own those stories and they just come out really confidently um and i want you to um show up as the prize right you are the prize that companies are seeking so we're really gonna groom you for that. And um, we're gonna end it all with a mock interview so that you know and you feel totally confident that you are going to rock it. Okay, so I'm, I'll put the link to that in as well. So number five, be solution oriented. So companies today are moving at the speed of light and workloads are heavier on employees then it's more work than anybody can bear. Every company is like this. So directors and VPs need teams that can quickly find solutions to their problems as fast as they can. So in the interview, illustrate how you find solutions to problems. And remember, the interviewer has a need to fill. And so he or she is looking for someone as quickly as possible to fill that need. So the more that you can show that you are the one finding solutions to their problems, the quicker you are going to move into that role. Okay, number six. This again is another one that you might think is a no-brainer, but I'm gonna tell you how to do this one. Number six, ask questions. So be sure to come prepared with a list of questions. And don't forget that you are interviewing the company just as much as they are interviewing you, right? You're interviewing your new potential boss as much as that person is interviewing you as well. So really, I wanna ask you, what is it that you want to know about the company? What do you wanna know about the department? What do you want to know about the team that you'll be working with? Um, those are the kinds of questions that you should be putting together. But I don't want you to ask questions about salary, vacation time, benefits. Don't ask any of those questions. You can save that until after you get the job offer, and then you can ask all of those questions. Um, I, I would definitely focus on the other things about the job that you would like to know. So um, I'm gonna give you some examples. So. Um, a question you could ask is what are some of your biggest challenges um, that you are seeking a candidate to solve for you? What are your three favorite um, things that you love about working for XYZ company? What is the growth potential from this role? 
And there's lots of many insightful questions. Those are just a few examples, but think about the things that you would really like to know as someone going to work for this company. Okay, number seven. This is a fun one. Be professional at all times. And you're probably thinking, well, duh, Joanne, I know that. Well, I will tell you that I always have a manager on my team interview the candidates after I interview the candidates. And, you know, she'll come in and she can give a little bit more of the day to day. It's a little bit more relaxed. Um, and I'm, I'm interviewing, you know, from like a big picture uh, standpoint. So her interview is just as important as mine. And so I'm shocked at the number of interviewees who feel so relieved after I leave that they just throw curse words into their sentences. You know, they're not angry or anything. They're just become so relaxed that they're not thinking about what they're saying. And, um, you know, she's not a higher up, so they feel comfortable. And they're just throwing F-bombs around like candy. And so remember, she's a member of my team she's someone that you could potentially be working with and also remember that she's going to come back and tell me everything that went on in that interview so um please keep it professional at all times no matter how cool you think the interviewer is okay number eight big no-brainer doesn't always happen so i want to remind you number eight send a thank you note now sending an email is perfectly fine but send it the interviewer is waiting for it. And if you don't send it, it will be a strike against you. And here we go. Number nine. Number nine is my favorite. And one of the most important ones, it's work with your mindset. So I'm going to tell you how to work with your mindset when it comes to interviewing. Um, yeah, so it's probably the most important technique um, that no other candidates will likely be practicing. So this is why it even helps you be even more ahead of the competition. So um, I also work with you um, on my, my blueprint to your dream job program. We work on mindset a lot. And um, with, I want you um, to start to observe your mind. And I want you to observe your mind before, during, and after the interview. I want you to listen to what the mind chatter is saying. I want you to listen and you might hear things like, um, well, all the other candidates are gonna be smarter than me. Um, what, who do you think you are for wanting more? Or there might be fears arising. Will I be out of a job forever? Or will I be stuck in this horrible job that I have right now forever? And I want you to start to write down um, and journal the thoughts that are arising. And I, I want you to really observe how these thoughts are really hijacking your moment to shine. Because a lot of candidates become incredibly impatient after the interview. They start emailing human resources. They um, start emailing the interviewer um, and they're like daily for updates. What's going on? What's going on? And the candidate might have actually really rocked the interview, but you know, things come up all the time with companies. Uh, they have hiring freezes. Uh, they have a deadline they have to hit. It might not have anything to do with you at all. Um, and so I want you to start to really have patience. And I want you to start to work with your mind to cultivate a mindset of patience, gratitude, and non-judgment. And if you put your focus on these three elements, you will not be focused on waiting for the phone to ring or to get that email. And I want you to fill your life with things that you love, right? And continue to seek out other opportunities. Keep looking for other opportunities that you're interested in. And um, because you know what? This is your moment to shine or to sabotage yourself from the second you walk in the door until you receive an answer from the company. So you can either be 
the hero that they're looking for, or you can completely sabotage the opportunity. But remember, you are the prize. Companies want and need you. And remember, they are waiting for a true leader to walk in the door. They're waiting for that. And they want you to win. They really want you to succeed because they want to fill that role more than anything so that, that they can have a full team and get on with their business day to day with a full, wonderful team filled with great leaders. So um, don't forget, I've got two great links for you. One is my free guide and video, book those interviews, six secrets to stand out from other job secrets. Um, other, more secrets, secrets everywhere. No, from other job seekers. And um, feel free to share that as well because that's free. And um, yes, and then I also have the link to my eight week private coaching program, Blueprint to Your Dream Job. And if you'd like to set up a 30 minute complimentary superpower session so we can talk about the vision that you have for your dream job and we can talk about some of the challenges um, that you've been having in your job search, um, the link is on that page as well. My calendar is there. Let's set up a free 30 minute call. Let's talk about it. Um, no commitments necessary. You can just talk to me just like I'm talking right here. So um, yeah, and then don't forget, you know, I'm here every week. If you have any topics you want me to um, cover for you, please put them in the post there. Um, or you can always email me at joanne at newbornevolution.com if it's um, a matter that you'd like to have um, anonymously talked about. I'm fine with that too. And I hope you enjoyed tonight's leadership Dolce. I always love talking about these topics and I love being here with you guys. So I'm wishing you love and light and leadership and have an awesome night. And I'm going to have a little Dolce, which I think is in the form of some Vino Vino tonight. And um, ciao, ciao. I'm sending you lots of love and wishing you lots of luck. Bye. I'll see you next week.